Hi, this is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and today we're going to work with the acetate. Another uh, item that we'll be using is alcohol ink. And if you can tell by my fingers, uh, I've been working with alcohol ink quite a bit lately. So let's see what we have to do. This top, this acetate, was actually a top to a, a box of cards. And so what I'm going to do now is cut up the side uh, all the way around so where it's uh, three-dimensional and that will give me a flat piece of acetate. And of course you can buy your acetate, but I uh, had this on hand so I thought I would use it. <coughs> I also have a paper cutter but this does not work very well on the acetate and cutting it by a pair of scissors or with a pair of scissors, uh, it doesn't really take too long. You just have to uh, work it uh, a little at a time because it doesn't cut very easily. I've almost finished cutting the sides of my box top. Uh, the top came off of a, a box of greeting cards and I had kept it to put a few things in and now I was in the process of throwing the box away when I decided that I would use the top and cut it flat so I'd have my piece of acetate to work on. You have to kind of watch out for the sharp edges when you're cutting and um, your cutting uh, board, at least mine, didn't cut the acetate very well. So I have to use the scissors, but uh, right now it's it is fine. It's um, a little uneven on the edges, but that will be trimmed up after I um, stamp it in a color the acetate. Okay, I have some stays on ink here. It's a brand new pad, and I have a stamp. It's kind of like a collage. It's a watering can with different things on it and I'm making sure that I have my stamp covered really well and as I said this is stays on and that's what you want for this type of project I'm using brown stays on ink uh, you should really use a stays on ink um, for pr putting um, your design on acetate. Uh, it dries quickly and um, it will adhere to the acetate. So here we go. We have a pretty good uh, design there of my watering can and tools and flowers, etc. Give me a couple minutes and we'll let the um, impression dry. In the meantime, I'm gonna clean my stamp since I used um, stays on on it. And if you do use that product, you need to clean your stamp right away. Okay, I have stamped on the front of my acetate and um, I want to get it completely dry because I'll be turning it over. Next, turn your image facing downward, and we're gonna be working on the back side right now. Next, I'm taking uh, a couple of bottles of uh, alcohol ink, and I'm just putting a couple of uh, uh, drops on my acetate.
Now I'm going to take my blending tool and just blend the two colors together. I may have to add some more. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to add some more um, alcohol ink so the color will be a little brighter and coverage will be better. I don't want to cover the whole acetate ink color, basically my image. Don't forget, I've been working on the back side of my acetate. So the stamped image is on the front and the alcohol is on the back. I chose this piece of uh, tan uh, cardstock to go behind my image and that will show the color and the uh, stamp uh, much better. Plus, I need to have a way of attaching my acetate to my card. Now, what I'm going to do is punch a hole in the four corners with this uh, hole puncher and um, put in some brads. Punching holes in uh, the cardstock was easy, but I had to punch the holes through the acetate at the same time so they'd be in the same place. And that was a little difficult because it really took the strength to get through the uh, acetate. Now I have these little teeny weensy uh, brads that I'm gonna see if I can find four of a, of a green and I'm gonna um, attach my acetate to my cardstock. Now that I've put all four brads in, uh, I have a way of attaching it to my card. So we will pull out Aileen's turbo glue and I'll put glue in the back of the cardstock and attach it to the card itself. I put my image a little high on my um, cardstock. Uh, other words, I left a little more space at the bottom so that I could put my sentiment. My sentiment says, cherish every moment. And I started to put a mat under it, but decided that would distract from my uh, alcohol image. So I just left it plain.
Now this is my finished card. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please come back and see me and see what I have in store for you for next time. In the meantime, have a great crafting day. And don't forget, come back and see me and please subscribe. Bye.